gamers and game mats, what is going on? My name is Tanuk127, and welcome back to another Tower Fantasy video. And guys, happy early access day. Now, um, before we get into today's video, I do need to give a big fat disclaimer. Um, special thank you to Tower Fantasy and Perfect World Games for sponsoring this video and hooking me up with a early access copy of Tower of Fantasy, the deluxe edition for PS5. Now, um, when we get that out of the way, I wanted to make a guide today because um, one thing I've heard throughout the community since Tower Fantasies went into early access is the controls are a little confusing. Now, um, I definitely agree with that. Uh, I do think they give some getting used to, but I'm also here to show you guys that there's some logic in the madness that are these controls, and allow me allow me to explain. So. Something I've noticed, and even with the character creation menu, and I'm going to give you guys an example here in a second, is they tend to, like, break up parts of the controller through different portions of the menu, if that makes sense. Let, let me go ahead and explain to you guys what I mean what I mean by that. We'll find a good menu here to use for an example. Okay, the weapon menu. It seems like a pretty good example. So if you look on the left side, right, where it says weapons and warehouse, these two spots are controlled by up and down on the D-pad. If you look at the bottom where it says Wanderer, Backpack, Weapons, and Simulacrum. I hope I'm saying that right. If not, please forgive me. That section is controlled by L1 and R1 where you select it. And if you come down to your weapons themselves, they are simply controlled by just scrolling with the analog stick. However, you can't do that with the d-pad you can only scroll through those parts with the analog stick so you just kind of got to feel out you know like which parts are controlled with which buttons on the controller and the same thing with the character creation it was a bit of a pain to me at first but once i got used to it i was like oh this is actually kind of smart and then i thought to myself you know that some other mmo companies you know should probably consider that because it does make the controls a little bit simpler on console now it's not what you're technically used to but it does make things real simple for the developer and as a player it's not something too hard to adapt to at least you know personally what i feel um another little tip i wanted to give you guys too is um as you know tower of fantasy is an action combat mmo now me personally i play a lot of action games games like devil may cry um final fantasy 16 the Tales series and stuff like that. Things with a lot of, you know, button mac mashy hack and slash combat. One thing I easily did in the Tower Fancy controls to make this game feel very familiar to me. You'll notice right here on the right hand side, I changed my attack and dodge button. That's all I did. I made my attack button square and I made my dodge button circle. That'll be feel really familiar to anyone who's played any type of action games. Especially if you've played Devil May Cry or Final Fantasy 16 recently. Yeah, that'll feel awfully familiar to you. Now, let's talk about some things here with the UI and show you guys, you know, what's what. So first off, if you hit the Options button, you can pretty much access anything. And if you don't have all these options, relax. You can access everything by just playing through the story. All the options will come here as you play through the story. Even the little goodies and stuff like that that you got with your pre-order bonuses, you get them through playing the story. They'll, but a good portion of them, they'll be right here in your backpack, just so you guys know. A lot of people who are wondering, you know, where's the PlayStation exclusive outfit? Well, if you look here on the screen in the inventory, you'll see where it says outfits right there at the bottom. Just push square, and you can access your outfits. And the one uh, PlayStation exclusive outfit I got, there you go. It's right there. Simple. Press triangle to use it. Now, but yeah, like I said, guys, a lot of options. You know, they're all um, they're all right here. The settings menu, social networking. If you want to add friends and and all that and all that fun stuff, that's all. That's all. All here. Special orders. You know, when you want to um, get more gotcha characters and all that fun stuff, it'll all be here as you don't you know, just progress through the beginning of the story it all unlocks so don't worry about that now last but not least one other thing you guys are probably wondering is how do you play with friends how do you um swap channels how do you talk in the text chat and stuff like that well there's actually another menu that's kind of hidden here on the screen that they don't really talk about that menu is simply brought up by holding l1 oh yeah now you got a lot more options here that you can see how huh? you can zoom in and out you can hide your summoner your summon or hide your cursor and stuff like that. You can access your mail. You can also check on some of the other events, login events that are in the game. Yeah, hold L1 in the square so you guys can get, you know, those beautiful little red jades for, for summoning. Um, this will actually even bring up the SSR menus, menus again and stuff like that. But if you want to um, access the chat, just simply hold L1 and you guys will see this little section 
right here on the left. If you hold L1 and just push down on the chat, this brings the um the chat up right right here. There's the world section. There's you know for crews and clans. There's the team section, recruit, current, and, and stuff like that. It's all it's all right right there. And and also if you want to change channels, you simply hold L1 and then you push left on your D-pad, and then you can just use the right analog stick to take this little mouse cursor. Type in whatever number you want and go to whatever channel. Um, you probably won't be able to get into channel one because you know the game just came out and that channel is always flooded. But you guys get the idea. But yeah, this will let you access photo mode, the shop, all kinds of you know different goodies and stuff that you can access by pressing options as well. It's you know it's, it's kind of just you know an alternate fast version of the menu for those who don't want to scroll through the through the options thing. But like I said, guys, they always just seem to split things up with these menus through different parts of the controller. For example, again, even when you hit options, when you scroll through these spots right here, you do it with the um, with either the D-pad or the right analog stick. You'll notice that the left analog stick doesn't let you scroll through the options. It just moves my character. But if I use the right analog stick or the D-pad, it lets me go through the options. You just have to go through the menus and see, look around. I know it's a bit tedious, but you just have to look around and see how exactly they have everything split up and I promise you once you get used to it you'll find that this system is actually pretty easy but anyway guys if you got any more questions for me or anything that you want to know on how to do in the game be sure to leave them down in the comments below I'll get to them the best I can y'all enjoyed today's video and it helped you smash that like button if you're new here subscribe I will see y'all in the next one peace out have a good one